CDQ Drop a Dime Production. The following program is rated TV MALV. It contains strong language and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Fear, hate, anger, death, hell, and heaven. Two killed, one permanently injured. Did you know in today's society that ringing the wrong doorbell at someone else's house or making a wrong turn and then making a three-point turn on someone's driveway to exit out or making the mistake of getting into a car you thought was yours only to find out it was someone else's car or Playing with a basketball that ends up on your neighbor's property could cause you permanent paralysis or even death. Four young people were shot across the country simply for being in the wrong place. We'll start with Tuesday's shooting at a grocery store parking lot in the town of Elgin near Austin. Two cheerleaders were shot after one of them mistakenly got in the wrong car. She apologized, but says the car owner shot at them anyway. Peyton Washington suffered critical injuries. That shooter is in custody. Over the weekend, 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis was shot as she and a group of friends drove up the wrong driveway looking for a house in rural New York. The homeowner pleaded not guilty to murder charges. His lawyer says he felt threatened. And good news is Kansas City 16-year-old Ralph Yarl is recovering at home. He was shot last week when he approached the front door to pick up his little brother. He had gone to the wrong address. The homeowner accused of shooting him also pleaded not guilty. Now, the series of shootings is putting new scrutiny on stand your ground laws at this point. What's happening today? The man wanted for the shooting or for shooting a six-year-old and her father because a basketball rolled into his yard will appear in court. That shooting happened in Charlotte, North Carolina. However, the suspect was arrested in our area. And on your side, Melissa Marino, live outside of the Hillsborough County Courthouse with more on this story. Pretty disturbing. Absolutely. Robert Singletary is expected to make his first court appearance here in Hillsborough County today. This is after he turned himself into Hillsborough County authorities overnight. Now, 24 year old Robert Singletary is accused of shooting at several neighbors, including six year old Kinsley White and her father, William. Her father, William, is still recovering in the hospital after being shot in the back. He suffered damage to his lung and liver. Kinsley was hit in the cheek and another neighbor was grazed by a bullet. The family says Kinsley was outside playing with other kids Tuesday when their basketball rolled into the yard of a home where Singletary was living. Then Kinsley says Singletary raised his voice, so her father approached him. Daddy just really talked to him, and then he just turned around and went back. He was walking home, and he just came back out with a gun. He started to shoot him. I just hope my daddy was okay. They've got him on so many medications because he's in so much pain that he's in and out, sleep, wake, sleep, wake. And William is the only one still in the hospital recovering from this. Now, Singletary is charged with four counts of attempted murder. Again, he has a first appearance scheduled for this morning at 9 a.m. and then will likely face extradition back to North Carolina. Melissa Marino, eight on your side. What's happening and why? Well, this is not the making of a sequel to a well-known fiction movie and so-called stage props. No, this is the reality of a non-fiction event that are the justification for either fear, hate, racism, hysteria, political rhetoric, conspiracy theories, self-preservation, in or state, city, and local stand your ground laws. Whatever side you stand on or against, agree or disagree, the reality is, contrary to Papa belief, it will not get better with time, but it will get a lot worse. My rationale behind this statement is the Christian Bible, and it is very clear and 100% accurate concerning eschatology, the prophetic and historical events leading up to the earthly return 
of Jesus Christ. Societies of people will become lawless, unloving, haters of God, lovers of money and pleasure, indulging unnatural behaviors and desires, sex, drugs, and parties, crimes, murders, and gun violence. Theft and robberies, calling good evil and evil good, self-centered, selfish, greedy, haughty, high-minded, disrespectful to parents and a disregard for leadership, political corruption, wars, and civil wars, pestilence and famines, fear and intimidation, both as a people's nation and citizens of the world. In the midst of all this debauchery, this sinful and seemingly perverse generation, however ungodly and unholy the acts continue to be, God is merciful, plenteous in grace and long-suffering towards us. Although this generation likened unto the times of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah, we, as Christians, were told by Jesus Christ that these signs would appear before his soon return. So, why so much violence and chaos in the world? Because God, who is a God of judgment and justice, will soon judge the entire world from the beginning to the end for their sins and the rejection of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. But there is another behind the scenes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now holds it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. In all the ways that the wickedness deceives those who are perishing, they perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie and so that they will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. So, there you have it. The lawlessness that you see in people are the wakes of Satan and deceived by those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and be saved. Since we don't know who they are before it happens, we must continue to preach and share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to every living creature made in the image and likeness of God. However, keep studying the word of God, fellowshipping with the body of Christ, fasting and praying, and keep looking up knowing that your redemption draws ever closer. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ and less on mankind and the promises that he or she makes. For greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. For all the promises of God in him are yea and amen to the glory of God through us. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for watching, and may God both bless and keep you safe.